<clears throat> Last time on Pikmin 2, I messed up real bad. Like, and now we're gonna speed run. Hopefully. Use the knowledge that you've gained to, like, defeat the boss. And by the boss, I mean the dungeon. I mean, the you know, the boss really is the dungeon when you think about it. Like, they say dungeons and dragons, but when you think about it, like, the dungeon is the dragon. Mm -hmm. Like, one cannot exist without the other. That's the law of equivalent exchange. Yeah. Like, also, you know, the the dungeon is the boss, as in, like, the, the dungeon will only be as good as its boss and vice versa, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you can't just go through like the the caves of death and run into like Cedric the whatever. I mean, you know, like I heard about I heard about this one I heard about this one dungeon boss who who was like, you, you know, like, like really it was really like misogynistic. You know, mistreated his female employees. Like, like, you know, was very very strict hiring policies. You know, never hires anyone who doesn't have like a full you know like eight years of college or something. Like that's a terrible boss right there. Exactly. Never gives anyone a raise. Like and like the dungeon that he run ran like wasn't good. Yeah, exactly. Because people didn't respect him. You need a respectful dungeon boss. That's absolute like that. That's like dungeoneering number one hundred and one rule. The absolute, like, you, you need the boss to be respectable. Unless this whole deal is, like, being someone who is not respectable. Hmm. Do you respect King K. Rule? Yeah. I respect King K. Rule because of his results. Yeah, that is fair. I will say, like, King K. Rule is the type of person who I think doesn't respect anyone else. Hmm. Like, only, like, just doesn't respect anyone. I think that's a proper assessment of his character. And like, I don't know, I, like, I think, you know, you should, like, treat others as you wish to be treated, so, like, I feel like he doesn't deserve respect because right. of that. I guess, I can see what you mean. Like, he, he's not someone that anyone wants to respect, I think, but, like, you can't help it, really. Hmm. Like, he rules through fear. Like, he... He just, he gets results, you know, like... Mm -hmm. Stealing bananas. Stealing bananas, running very successful oil companies. D like, do you, you know that King Carol has, like, a lot of a lot of different jobs? Yeah, isn't he also, like, a scientist and a pro wrestler? Yeah, yeah, he's like a, he's like a boxer, a scientist, a pirate, a king. Like, he does many things. He wears many hats. Yes, he does. He does wear many hats. Like, you, you, he wears many hats, and you can't say he doesn't. For sh for sure. For certain. Mm. What if the president, you know, like... They said the president wears many hats, but... What if he only had to wear half a hat? Half a hat? Yeah. What hat would you have him? Ha what, what half would... What half would you have him wear? Like... It's hard to say. The, um... Well, it depends on which political party he's from. Okay. Well, like, it, it, sh it, should, it should be the opposite. Like, you know, that, that they say, like, you know, left-leaning or right-leaning. Well, or like, you know, you know they, they say that, like, uh, that, you know, liberals are, are like, they, they call that left and, you know, because the they call that right. So, so I think I think a, a, a liberal president should have, like, oh, no. like, a Democratic Party president should have a, uh, like, should have to wear the right half of the hat, Might have been and a the Republican here. Party president should have to wear the, the left half of the hat, just just so they can see how the other side lives and like learn their perspective. Okay, fair enough. Probably. Haha. It is the it is the same hat. It, it is only through White Pikmin that I was able to pull off this feat of sneaking. It's it's actually just one hat that or like a failure to sneak. One hat that somebody cut in half. It, it, it was like it was ordered to be cut in half by by a uh, by a judge. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but because like because like there there was this like loophole in the law that accidentally allowed two presidents to be elected at once, and like they were arguing over which one of them should rightfully own this hat, and like because they're both the president, they both have equal right to the hat. So like the judge ordered that just split it in half. Yeah. Just, and so they like, cut it right down the middle. I, I mean, it works honestly. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna split it in half, you gotta split it in half. 
Mm, I can take this guy on. Oh, hold on. Mm, I need... I got... Oh! I guess that works. <laughs> Intriguing. The creature showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming oh, white Pikmin. That's what happened. Perhaps white Pikmin excrete a poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Yeah, I mean... I guess, like... If I'm gonna get in a, tr a troubling situation and have to take care of him, that's not the worst way to have it end quickly, but I'm not a fan of losing the white Pikmin there. Not like you got a cutscene for it, because it never happened before, right? Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of losing white Pikmin. I mean, what if... Whoa. Like, you're also not a fan of losing purple Pikmin, right? Yeah. What if, like... What if one of Olimar's purple Pikmin turned on him? Um, that honestly, like, that would be really bad. I don't think I don't think Olimar could defeat a purple Pikmin that really wanted to kill him. Well, like, well, like, what if one of Olimar's purple Pikmin was secretly an evil twin, a Nimkip, as they say, and, and like, uh, it, it like it committed a crime against Olimar. Like, I don't think Olimar is stronger than a purple Pikmin. Like, if Olimar didn't have his other Pikmin, like, he would be defeated. So, Olimar wouldn't be able to catch that perp? No. That purple traitor? Definitely not. Like, that that's the joke I was setting up. Oh, okay. I see. That's like, a good one. Props. Yeah, thanks. I was actually working on that one since, uh, before we started this recording. Oh, really? Yeah. While you were eating that pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you... Did the pizza inspire you when you're joking? Uh, yeah, I think it did. Good. Do you have a favorite pizza place? Pizza place? Not, I mean, not really. Hmm. Like, if I'm ordering from somewhere, like, if I'm choosing what place to order from, I'm probably gonna go Pizza Hut. That's my standard, but, like, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's mild. necessarily my favorite. Say mild. Now I see the mild. I see the mild this time. Mm -hmm. Is that, like,. Oh yes, it is the same soap. Yeah. Because you never actually got the other soap. We had to, uh, uh, like, we had to evacuate it. I guess. Like, I was gonna ask, like, why, why, why are they reusing the soap model? But no, it's it's the same one. Yeah. Like the the ship had to let it go so we could carry us out, us and our useless bodies. Hmm. Yeah, Duracell. The double plus. Energy. Durable energy cell. That. <laughs> That's cheating, ship. You can't just say that. Like, you you can't just, like, lengthen the name of the product that we found. Ship can't read English. Yeah, you're probably right. No, you're definitely right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because there actually is a, like, Hakutation alphabet. Yeah. I think it's it looks very similar to English. Hmm. But slightly different. Or, like, Whoa. Romanian, uh, well, no, not Romanian, but, like, Roman, like, Western text. Because the, I mean, I, you, you, could, you could say the English alphabet, but that's an alphabet that's actually used in a lot of languages. Hmm. So, I don't know, the Germanic? Yes. Well, that's, like, its origins, but... I don't know. There sure are a lot of these guys down here. I don't know my language history. Same, honestly. A lot of ways. Hey, we got the stage back. Wait. Stage back. <laughs> Look at that purple guy. It's trooping. Mirrored stage. Too bad it's not shaped like a horseshoe. Huh. I don't get it. Like, I mean, there's no reason for it to be shaped like a horseshoe, but what if it oh. just was? I guess that'd be cool. Like, I'm, I'm, I am making a reference to things that don't need to be references to horses, but they are anyway. Hmm. For no discernible reason. Okay, fair enough. Well, like, what if, like, this is a post-apocalyptic Earth, like, we never see any, you know, actual humans here, of course. Right. So, like, what if the humans that were here, like, 
Like, what if this? What if this isn't? Oh the, my gosh, that's like. Wally Wally. What if this isn't the future know. of the Earth we know, but it's the future of the Equestria Girls timeline, in which humans had multicolored ah, skin and stuff. Him. Oh, he, he really got him, I think. Eh, oh, we didn't lose too many. That's a shame, though. <laughs> Dropped the Wally Wog on us. Like, that that was due to lack of purples. Mm -hmm. Like, purples are, are good at dealing with Wally Wogs. Yeah, we got the, uh, Vorpal Platter back. Which is not worth much, apparently. Like, if we do get out of here alive, I wonder how much money we'll have made. I hope it's a lot, because we're we're taking a lot of losses for sure. Like I think I hope that we will succeed in this, because I think this should be the last thing we record tonight. And then like it's probably gonna be a while until our next session. But like if we remember to do it, I definitely think after this we should just spend a day regrouping. Yeah, definitely. Good thing these guys don't really hurt Pikmin. Just suck them up. Yeah. Like, there's guys who suck in here, and there's guys who blow in here. Mm-hmm. That is true, 100%. And neither of them do particular damage, right? Well, it depends. The guys who blow do more often mm. damage. Comes your shell. But, like, these, these blowy guys, not nah, there. They're not dangerous. Mm. Like, what are they doing it for, then? I mean, it might be dangerous if they, like, you know, their their normal prey may not be Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, okay, so Pikmin might be, like, immune to their, to their, uh, yeah. like, stomach lining. Exactly, like, you know, they're, they're sucking up the Pikmin, but they're not, they don't normally eat Pikmin, so, like, the Pikmin, they're more resilient than whatever, like, dirt or some stuff they eat normally. These jelly floats. Ah, sweet, the Nirvana floor. You gotta find that weed and get out of here. <laughs> or maybe there'll be a Mamuda. That'd be nice. Who? A Mamuda. What's that? It's a dude. He hits your Pikmin, but he doesn't kill him. He just puts them in the ground and makes them flowers. Oh. So I was right to say who. Yeah, I guess. Dr. Mamuda? Paging Dr. Mamuda. Hmm. I don't know if he's a doctor. Not a real one. Like by any stretch. You know who's definitely not a real doctor? Dr. Mario. Yes, that's that's that applies. Ah, almost. Like also if you had even if you had succeeded, you would have thrown a blue into a blue. Well, these uh, Queen Candy Pop Buds, they just increase the Pikmin. Like you throw one Pikmin in, they give more. Oh. So it would bolster our ranks. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, that's that's really good. We're back up to 100 now. Nice. Like, oh, how, like, what's the max it can give you? Like, if you um, came in here with only one Pikmin and threw it in there, how many would it give you? I don't know. Like, I assume it gave you as many as you did, because you could only have 100 at a time on the field, but, like, maybe it could have given you more. Maybe. I don't know about that, actually. Murder. Like, Nectar. you just committed butterfly genocide. I, I needed to. Butterflied. Yeah. To, to, like, condense that phrase. You're not wrong. That, that is what I did. Hey, there he is. Yep. It's not 420 anymore. No, it's 421 now. Yeah. What a long minute it's been. Oh, hey, Louie, what's up? What have you been doing? Get like, wait, what were you, you're asking me what I've been doing in this room with the marijuana leaf in it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I believe you, Louie. Good, because it's true. <laughs> I've been doing nothing. Also can, like, like appreciate this, I feel. 
you like the water like slowly moving down? Yeah, the water and like the pipe and the area. Like this is a very pretty floor. Yeah. Name Arboreal Frippery. Like it's only worth ten dollars. Yeah, well, to the ship. True. The ship like can't use it properly. We can though. <laughs> like what do you mean oxygen, when you say we? Oxygen can't do it, but if it's only <laughs> cannabis. Okay, yeah. Like the Nintendo Wii can do it. Mm. Like, no orange juice for the Wii, but but maybe weed. I mean, have you tried? I haven't. I gotta say. Like, weed and orange juice, the breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah, part of this balanced breakfast. Like, if you just eat marijuana, what happens? Does it? Yeah, it works. That's like that's the uh, idea behind pot brownies. I guess. Isn't that still, like, cooked first, though? Yeah, I guess. Like, just eat it raw. Just... I mean, I guess it... I guess people must have discovered it somehow. Like a weed salad. Good old-fashioned. Mm. Like... Like... Like, what goddamn if... Goddamn vegan drugs. What if you were, like... What if you had to eat, like, one of these two leaves, and you know that one of them was marijuana and one of them was poison ivy, but you don't know which one is which? Uh, I mean, I don't want to... Can I say no? <laughs> Just Like, uh, if you do, that, then, then you'll lose your uh, scholarship. <sighs> you can't do this to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, I... So I don't know at all? Like, I can't look at them? Like, well, the idea is that they look similar. I they guess. look similar, right? Kind of. I mean, I know how to identify poison ivy. But I guess if you if you got some weed that looked enough like poison ivy, I yep. I'd probably get kind of stumped. Mm. Like I I don't like this scenario. I don't like it either. <laughs> Here's a different scenario. Like okay. what, what if there was a hole in your bathroom and a bat flew in through the hole? Would you hit like would you choose to hit the bat with a dictionary or would you choose to not do that? I have a dictionary in my bathroom. Yeah. I mean, a big one, too. Like, it would do pretty good damage to the, oh man. To the bat. Like, I would hit it with the dictionary, but I'm, I'm not trying to kill it. Hmm. Like, I, I'm trying to relocate it to not my bathroom. Because I, like, that's a very bad place for a bat to have reached. <gasps> yeah. Like, they, they, they just like coming in there, though. They're like mods. Ugh. Like, but they, they 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 see the hole with to the bathroom where the light is, and they just go there. It is chocolate flavored beverage. I, I do like you, who's like honesty about how it's not chocolate milk. It's just a chocolate beverage. Like what's in it? I mean, I'm sure I could find out pretty easily, but I don't know. Hmm. Like that's probably not milk. Like that. That's the pleasure of it. It's probably like Yuhu chocolate flavored beverage is probably a uh, like lactose intolerant friendly drink. Oh yeah, I would I could see that yeah. Oh, there are a lot of fire geysers around that I don't want to deal with. Yep, got that. Sweet. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> hey, leave, leave leave them alone. You know, Nesquik? Yeah. Isn't that also, isn't that basically what Yuhu is? Isn't that just a different brand of that? Probably. I think Nesquik is probably more successful, though. I know what it is more mm. immediately. Like, you know Ness from Earthbound? Yeah. What if, like, what if Ness drank some Nesquik, and then he went quick? I feel like, isn't there actually an item in Earthbound that, like, yeah. if you drink it or eat it, you go faster? Yeah, yeah, yeah the skip sandwich. Yeah. Like, that would just be a very appropriate pun written by our friends over at the Earthbound. Yeah. Or written by Trixie Pasta. Broken food. In master. like 2016. Oh. Oh, was that a Trixie Pasta reference that I didn't get? Like, there was a time when, uh, it may have been 2017, I can't remember. Like, Trixie Pasta and I went to, um, 
Comic like New York Comic Con one time. It was a while ago. I think it was Yeah, I can't remember if it was the last one or the one before the last one, but like we took a bus there to New York and then like mm -hmm. And then like on the way back, like we were at the bus station at, like at the right time, but the bus was late, so we had to wait around like for a long time for the bus to show up. And like so we bought snacks all the way there. Or, no, I, th I think I think what happened was that like at one point we walked away to buy snacks because we'd been waiting for a long time. We're like, yeah, that's, we're we're just like we're in here for a while. We're gonna you know get some snacks. But I think while we were gone, that's when the bus showed up. And so we had to very quickly like run back to the bus with our snacks, and then we ate them while we were on the bus. And um, like one thing that I had was Nesquik, and I was drinking it. And, and uh, Trick Pass to you know like he said, yeah, like skip sandwich, right? And like huh. I actually didn't get it at the time. Oh, huh. like it w like it wasn't until like a while later th that I thought back to him saying that, and I was like. Oh yeah, that is a that is a joke that makes sense. Like, I think at the time I thought he was just saying that because it was a thing from Earthbound and like Nesquik has Ness in it and Ness is from Earthbound, but it was a more specific joke, a more clever joke than I realized at the time. And they, all the enemies are in this one room. I also don't think I've ever admitted that to him that oh. I didn't get it when he made the joke, that it that it was a slow burn for me. Oh. So so when he watches this video, like like yeah now he's gonna yeah. know. Alright, time to, time to be smart about this. Smarter than we have been. I'm gonna take these few purples and I'm gonna take care of the biggest threat in this room, which is this single Wally Wog. I also remember that, like, while we were sitting around, I I wanted to play um, Toho, because I, I had, like, a Toho game downloaded on my computer, on my laptop, which I had with me. This is not the good, a good time to be dis like, disabled by But it blowing. didn't work for some reason. Right. Like, I opened it up, I tried to open the program, but it just didn't work. Like, it didn't open. Or it opened and it was frozen or something. It's so like a withering blowhog, I'm gonna have to ask you to... I couldn't play Toho. I played Cat Planet instead. Oh. Cat Planet always works. That's good. I don't know anything about Cat Planet, really. Like, it's... Other than I guess it always yeah, works. It, 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 it's, it's very, like... It's a very, sh like, simple short game. Okay, that's good. Simple short games are some of the nicest games. Yeah. It's, it's nice to return to every once in a while. Hmm. So what are you gonna do with that guy's corpse? Uh, probably just leave it there. Hmm. You're not gonna perform an autopsy? No autopsy needed. But like, you're a scientist. Don't you want to find out what these alien life forms are like on the inside? I, I know how he's doing. He, he's a, a fiery blowhog. Surpri uh, well, not surprisingly, I guess, but interestingly enough, these guys are actually puffy blowhogs. They're part of the same family, but they fly yeah, and don't yeah. have legs. Like an Alolan blowhog. Yeah. That's basically what it is. They turn to, you know, fire type into a flying type. They should do that with certain flying types, or fire types. Like Rapidash. Ooh, Make it a Pegasus. Yeah. Like, I could see, I could see a Pegasus, like, Pegasus Alolan Rapidash being like, they just removed the fire entirely, so it's a pure flying type. Ooh, hmm. Oh, a pure or, flying or type, maybe, yeah. maybe, well... Because that doesn't exist. If it's a Pegasus, actually, like, flying fairy would make sense. Oh, yeah, that would. But I do want there to be a pure flying well, type. Well, what if it kept its unicorn horn and got, like, armor, and it became a <coughs> fire... Well, not fire. Flying and steel type. Sure. That works. Because a, a, a lot of the Alolan Pokemon kind of gained a steel type, I feel. Like, Sand, Sand Slash, you got a steel type, and, yeah. uh... Um... Okay, well, Sand Slash got steel type. Yeah, I mean, I was was gonna let you figure that out. Like, I, I could only think of Sand Slash of the steel type. Well, you, you don't need to think of anything but Sand Slash. How's that? Hmm. I like to think of Drampa. That's good. He he is a very kindly grandfather. Mm -hmm. He he gave me this beach cliff sardines. How? Like. He came to my house, 
and he like opened his mouth, and it was just in there like on his tongue. Oh, like the it was still it wasn't like he was eating it though. Like it was in the can, and mm. it was like, you know, other yeah. than being kind of gross because it was in his mouth, like it was untouched. That's good. Like what a kind, kind of guy, what a kind guy. You know, takes care of kids, gets mad, but only if you disrespect the kids. Yeah, only if you cyberbully his grandkids. Exactly. I mean, if you cyberbully, he'll real life bully you. Yeah. He'll come to your house. And, like. And burn it down. <laughs>